Hello, I'm Ethan from Team 7588 Cat Lateral Damage. This video is a concise and informative video on how to take advantage of April takes, which are a new addition to the field in the 2023-2024 FTC Game Center Stage. By the end of this video, you should be able to write a basic op mode that tells you the relative position of the April tag to the camera. This tutorial assumes general knowledge of Java, but it is not required to utilize the code shown. There are a couple terms in this video that I want to define to help you understand what is happening. April tags are images that look like a 2D barcode or a simple QR code. They are often used in computer vision for navigation, calibration, and automated movements. This year, April tags are going to replace the four Vuforia marks that are placed on the field wall. Each tag has a unique ID. The readings from April tags are consistent and reliable under different lighting as opposed to TensorFlow or color detection, which can be heavily affected by different lighting. You can find a PDF with all the April tags used at the link in the description. A pose is the position and rotation of an object. A 3D pose, sometimes referred to as a sixth off or six degree of freedom pose, commonly has XYZ positions and rotation around each axis. A 2D pose only has XY and a single axis of rotation, which is commonly referred to as theta in 2D poses. This tutorial shows how to get a 3D pose of an April tag relative to the camera. This method of getting a relative pose is called pose estimation and is incredibly helpful for automatic movements and lining up with an object. Let's write a simple op mode in Android Studio that allows you to get various readings from the April tags. I will be creating this with the SDK version 8.2 but you will need to use version 9 or newer for the center stage season. Here, I have a bare bones linear op mode named Vision. To start, there are two key classes used to detect April tags, April Tag Processor and Vision Portal. The processor processes images and finds the April tags and relevant data. The Vision Portal feeds images from the camera into the processor to scan for April tags and optionally display the video stream directly on the robot controller or on the control hub by connecting an external monitor via HDMI. To create an April tag processor, type April tag processor. I'll call this tag processor equals new April tag processor dot builder. Now it is time to start a new line for legibility and now type dot build. From here, we can customize the processor by adding methods between these two lines. Let's go through all the methods we will be using. We'll be showing optional additional information in the camera stream. Dot set draw axes just draws on the tag where the axes are pointing. Dot set draw cube projection draws a cube projected off of the tag to further help see where the camera thinks the tag is pointing. Dot set draw tag ID draws the ID number on the tag. Dot set draw tag outline draws the outline of the tag. Next is the vision portal. Creation is very similar to April tag processors. Just type vision portal. I'll call this vision portal equals new vision portal dot builder. New line dot build. Again, I want to run through all the methods we will use. Dot add processor allows you to add a vision processor. In here, we need to put the tag processor that we just created. Dot set camera requires you to reference the hardware map to access the camera. You do this just like creating a new DC motor or servo. By default, the webcam's name is webcam1. Dot set camera resolution sets the resolution the camera will use. You will need to use a size object for this. Higher resolutions allow the camera to clearly see the April tags from further away, but can be very resource intensive and can slow down or even crash the op mode. I have found that 640 by 480 works very well without significantly impacting performance. That right there is most of the work. 
Now in the loop, we are going to start by creating an if statement with the condition tag processor dot get detections dot size greater than zero. This ensures that the tag processor currently sees at least one tag. Now let's access that tag by creating a variable of the type April tag detection. I'll call it tag and say equal to tag processor dot get detections dot get zero. Now tag is equal to the first detected tag unless there are no visible tags. Now we can retrieve data from the detection. There's a surprising amount of data that can be retrieved from a single April tag detection. The most useful and only data that we'll be using is found within tag.ftcpose. Here you can get the distance along the x, y, and z axes from the camera to the tag, the rotation around each axis, range, bearing, and elevation. From the view of the camera, x is left and right, y is straight out, and z is up and down. The rotations are called pitch, roll, and yaw for the x, y, z axes respectively. Range uses the Pythagorean theorem on x and y to get the total distance to the tag. Bearing determines how much the camera needs to rotate left or right for the tag to be in the center of the screen. Elevation determines how much the camera needs to rotate up or down for the tag to be in the center of the screen. These are all incredibly useful and can be used in creative ways to add automatic alignment to your robot. Let's print out the FTC poses pose data to see this in action. I'm just going to be doing a bunch of telemetry.add datas for X, Y, Z, roll, pitch, and yaw. And then we'll finish it up outside of the loop with telemetry.update. Now let's push this code and see it in action. Here, we can just select the op mode and start it up. And look at that, it's spitting out numbers. As I physically move the April tag, you can see that these numbers change. If you do not see this warning in telemetry, then the SDK automatically uses pre-calculated lens intrinsics and these numbers reflect inches and degrees. If you do see this warning, then you will need to find your own lens intrinsics, which I show you how to do in our April Tag Camera Calibration tutorial. This was a brief tutorial to quickly start using April Tags, but if you want to learn more, you can either check out FTC Docs, which is linked in the description, or check out our advanced April Tag functionality video, which explains more of the features of April Tags. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via Discord or email or look for help in the FTC Discord server. My Discord username, our team email, and a link to the FTC Discord are all in the description. Thanks for watching.